Hello everybody. Today, our focus is on which artist? G E R A R D Gerard E K O T O Gerard Sukoto. Our discussion is going to be structured as follows. First, the introduction to Gerard Sukoto. Second, the description of the artwork. Third, a discussion on the important elements of art. Four, discussion on the principles of art. Five, the deep meaning of this artwork. So first, the introduction. Gerard Sokoto was a black South African artist. He went into exile to France. Why? Because of racism and apartheid. While in South Africa, he practiced his art way. There were two places. First one, S O. P H I A T O W N Sophia Town. The next one, right, was in D I S T R I C T District 6, 913, 1913. Sukoto became frustrated and angry with the government. And he made up his mind. He said, you know what? going out of South Africa for opportunities overseas. In exile, Gerard Sokoto met lots and lots of famous European artists, right? And he was influenced in his painting by these artists. Lots and lots of artists used social realism, right, to tell people about the suffering and the struggles and the poverty, right, that people experience. In this artwork, right, you see the people that are working, right, under apartheid. They are laborers, right? The workers, right, are slaves in their own land, South Africa, because of the apartheid rule. In this painting, Gerard Sukoto, he shows you how Black people of South Africa are slaves to the white government. Now, let's look at the, the elements of art. First, what grabs your attention in this painting? The first thing you see is a burst of color. The European artists used lots and lots of bright colors. For example, V-I-N-C-E-N-T, Vincent, V-A-N, Van, and G-O-G-H, Vincent van Gogh, and G-A-U-G-U-I-N, Gauguin used lots and lots of bright, bright, bright colors, abstract color in their painting. Gerard Scotto was influenced by
by these bright colors. You can see it in the painting. The next thing we look at is the use of line. In this painting, you see that Sukoto uses lots of diagonal lines. D-I-A-G-O-N-A-L. The men that are walking is standing, right, in action, in a diagonal line. The pics are in a diagonal line. So you see that lots of use of diagonal lines in the picture, right, showing you action. Third, let's look at space in the painting. Most of the painting is flat because of the use of flat colors. The space is very limited. It's two-dimensional, 2D. The men are shown big in the foreground. And as they move, you see them becoming smaller and smaller and smaller. And that use of perspective and making the size smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller creates the depth in the painting. Finished with the elements, now let's look at the principles of art. First thing when you look at the picture, you are focused on the working men. And they become the focal point. But when you focus carefully and you look, you will see that the working men the angle points to the one small man that is standing. It is shifted. The focal point is shifted from the strong working man to the small white man who is the boss. So you see that there are two different focal points in the artwork. The second principle that we're going to discuss is the rhythm that you see in the painting. The men are standing in a row and they're working. And you see the rhythm of the people that are working. You also relate the title, Song of the Pigs. The song is the rhythm that they are singing and working. The colors the artist uses is also singing in a type of harmony, right, and a unity in this painting. And the third important principle is the contrast you see in this painting. Colors that are bright are contrasted with black shadows, dark black shadows. You also see that there are many working men who are all diagonally placed, positioned, against the boss who is a single man standing 
vertical. You also, you also see the ground in which the man is standing. The workers stand on a different ground to the boss. So that's also a contrast. So now, let's look at the deep meaning of this painting. The workers. Can you see their faces? No. Why? Because during apartheid, black people had no rights. There was nothing. There was no rights. So you cannot see the faces of the workers in this painting. The second thing you see is that the ground, the land and the land that the boss is standing on and the workers are working on have different colors. They like separate people in this country. So it is showing you that apartheid between the people in South Africa between the black and the white people in South Africa. You also see there's unity with the workers. First, you see them all singing together. When they pick their eggs up, all of them have it up at the same time and they are singing and as they come down they are bringing the pigs down together. It shows you the unity in the black community and society. And lastly, right, the power that is depicted in this painting. The white man is short, is old, and is alone. But against the black men, who are many and are strong, and they have tools that are dangerous, but the white man, right, holds the power because the government had put power into the white man. So that is also a contrast in the picture showing you who has lots and lots of power during the apartheid time. Now we want to discuss the mood or the mood in this artwork. You would see that the artist captures this painting in the late afternoon. The sun is going down. You know this how? You see the dark shadows. So you know that the workers were working the whole day. And they're doing hard labor. But they are continuing to sing. And they're continuing to hold the pigs in that rhythm of working. So the colors are showing you like a joy. But there is suffering in that joy. 
they are working the land. If you look at the land, color is what? It's a red, pink. Meaning what? Meaning it is burning, it's hot. And the workers are working on this hard, right, hot land. But they don't want to show their boss that they are weak. You see them working together with the pigs, all in harmony, although it's late. They continue to work, right? Showing their pride as workers. Thank you.